What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video with me, Matt Hall. Hope you're good. Hope you had a good week and trains on point and all that shit. Welcome back to another video. And this is, as you can see by the thumbnail, it is, uh, I'm going to talk to you guys. It's going to be a vlog, but I'm going to talk to you guys right at the start here. Just about like the balanced diet that I'm having at the moment. So as you can see in the thumbnail, you did see that I had... Um, Pizza, asparagus, beef, uh, energy drinks, sugar-free drinks, and I forgot to put squash in there, but there's squash as well. So basically, the, the idea of it is that you're, I'm on a cut at the moment, but I like to keep it balanced. And basically, basically, people think that when you go on a cut, you can only eat certain foods. So like, you can only eat chicken and rice, you can only eat salads, you can only eat the boring stuff. That isn't right at all. And basically, if you do that, you're more likely to come off of it because you're not motivated to stay on. Like, keep your ba keep your diet balanced. So basically, at the end of the day, you, you want to be hitting your macros. So you want to be hitting your protein, fats, and carbs. And you also want to be hitting your, your calories. So say, for example, I was to have that, uh, that pizza for lunch. Okay, that pizza, I think, has got about eight 900 calories in it. And I'm on, at the minute, 2,400 calories. So then what I have to do for the rest of my meals and my snacks that I have in that day is filter in that. So then I'll have like a less calorie meal and I'll make sure like, so say for example, the, uh, the pizza's got a lot of fat in it. Uh, it's got a bit of protein in it. It's got a bit of carbs. Okay, but it's got high fat. So I'll have to make sure my next meal is actually high uh, protein, lower fat. So then I've changed, then I've changed it up. So then I've still maintained what I'm doing in my diet but i've had the pizza which is nice but then my next meal might be boring so as long as you're mixing it up and you're not just having pizza for dinner uh then you have like kebab or something like that then obviously that's a bad diet but if you have the balance and you get all your macros in and you get your fiber in and stuff like that it's all good and then like with the sugar free stuff like it's sugar free it says it, it says what it is it is sugar free so it's healthy healthier than having a sugar drink obviously people are saying oh monsters aren't good for you because of this monsters aren't good for you because of that at the end of the day, there's something, there's, there's on stuff, things aren't good at all the time. Like some people say some chicken isn't good because it's not been processed right. Or they say some asparagus isn't good because it didn't come, wherever. Just ignore them, man. Like as long as you're hitting your, the basic of it, make sure you're hitting your protein, fats and carbs, sticking to your calories. And trust me, guys, you'll get good results on whatever plan you're on, whether you're bulking, cutting or maintaining. Anyway guys, I know that went on for a little while, but anyway, sit back, relax, enjoy the rest of the vlog, make sure you drop it a like, subscribe if you're new, and yeah, let's get into it. I say though people what a beautiful day it is outside look at that the sun is shining beautiful right people here is the mill so we have the diced beef we have the asparagus and we have the rice the macros for this meal will be just up here. But basically I've added, as you can see, it's not just that. I've added some sugar-free tomato ketchup and a tiny bit of burger sauce, which people may laugh, but trust me, it goes because of the beef. Try it if you have it, if you like the look of this meal, try it with a little bit of burger sauce. Don't put too much because it is quite fatty. But add a little bit, it tastes so good. But yeah, I'm gonna eat this. Crack on with the day. I think I've got a cheat meal at some point in the day, so it's gonna be good. But anyway, sit back, relax, and enjoy the rest of the vlog. Mm. Guys, this meal is unreal. Make sure you check it out if you haven't already. Like, it's gotta be like my new favorite meal. As long as you cook it right. Mmm. People, look at this madness on my new fridge. Look at that. Watch my own videos on the fridge. Mate, man's gonna be sitting here having breakfast, watching YouTube. This is lit. Right then, people, so that's the food done. Fridge shown and now I'm just chilling. So work is done. Well, I've got one more session later on tonight, but work is done for a few hours. So I'm gonna chill out, play my PlayStation, relax, get ready for tonight. Training tonight, but basically I wanna tell you guys, this week has been hard with the training. Cause basically I played football on Saturday and I've done something to my shoulder. And so this week has been real struggle to train. 
Like, I literally trained arms on Monday and arms yesterday. Rested Tuesday and Wednesday because I couldn't do anything. Like, I couldn't do anything that involved my chest, shoulders or back. So I'm pretty screwed doing legs tonight and then hopefully, because it is feeling better, tomorrow I'm going to attempt doing chest. See how it goes, but it's just a little tip for you guys. Like, if you're really serious about the gym, don't do anything else because obviously this has affected my week. So that's just a little tip for you guys. If you're looking at like doing bodybuilding or something like that, you literally have to dedicate everything around it because you get one slight injury outside of it, you're fucked for a bit. People, back to this fridge here. We found something out yesterday as well. If you press this button here, and you say you're in the shops and you can connect this to your phone, we haven't sorted it out yet. But if you're in the shops and you're thinking, hmm, what's in the fridge? Don't know if I've got any like beef or I don't know if I've got any chicken. On here, you can click on that and it shows you exactly what's in the fridge and you can get that on your phone. That is sick and like we've got all the oh got all the like stuff on it smart recipes you obviously watch insect which i showed you guys yesterday with the youtube got the date got everything like you got all these apps it's mad all on a fridge all on a fridge freezer anyway yeah i thought i'd show you guys it's quite cool well i thought it was cool you might not but i rate it Right then people, a couple of hours has now passed. It is now about six o'clock. I'm now going to my, getting ready to go to my 6.30 session. Then I'm training straight away after. It is leg day, baby. Oh fuck, I hate legs. He legs is my least favorite uh, movement to do. Least favorite muscle group, I hate it. But anyway, I'm gonna show you what I've got in my gym bag to take with me, because obviously I've got my session, then I'm going to train. So first of all, I've got a banana, which I'm actually gonna have in a second. Just get some carbs in my system. Then I've got, this is what I've started doing guys before training, is literally just before, probably about 15 minutes before, I'm taking myself, uh, let me open it up. Got myself 50 grams of Tamfastics, just to get some sugar in my body, to give me like that energy boost. And I've also got my pre-workout. This is one and a half scoops of C4 orange. I normally take on leg day, I normally take the C4. And then when I do upper body, I normally take the bulk powders one because I do rate it. Why is the camera gone? Anyway, but I've obviously got my shaker to take it in and I've got my hoodie, my hoodie that I train in at the moment. Um, basically, I get funny when it comes to hoodies and when I train. I have certain hoodies that I like wearing when I do my PT sessions and I have certain hoodies that I like wearing when I train. Just how it is, where it is, it's in my mental state. I always seem to train better when I have certain hoodies on. It's just up in the brain. Certain things happen when you're... Like you get into rhythms and stuff and you like get into routines and you just want it that way all the time. Like I had this hoodie that I wore for about two years straight when I was doing bench press. I wouldn't wear any other hoodie and now I can't find where that's gone. Uh, that's a bit of a nightmare really. But anyway, I'm now rambling on. But anyway, I'm going to get ready, head to my session. I won't be training, I won't be filming the training session, but I'll speak to you guys after when I probably can't walk. Right then people, it's now the next day. Legs was good last night. What did we do? We done squats. And then we done leg press, then we done leg extensions. Very good session, my legs are feeling it today. Then I had some sessions this morning, eight till 12, come home, had some lunch, chilled out, watching the football at the moment, so not really done too much today really to vlog. But anyway, I'm going back to the gym in about an hour, hour and a half, and I'm training chest and triceps with James, so it's gonna be a good session. I'll take you guys with me, so yeah, enjoy the workout. Scratch that guys, it's actually back and biceps. So anyway, sit back, relax, and enjoy it.
overall that is a workout done what a good workout that was back and by shoulder felt good considering I've had that shoulder pain a week, felt good on all the movements, so hopefully it's near enough back to normal, so hopefully I can train some shoulder isolated work soon. But I'm going to wrap this video up now guys, but just before I do, I want to let you guys know that, so this video is going out on Sunday, let me get up when this is going up. So this video is going up Sunday the 28th of April, and next weekend either, it's going to be about the Monday it will go up, so Monday the 6th of May. I'll be uploading a Q&A which I'm filming with a guy called Kai which hasn't been on the channel before but he basically works at David Lloyd and I met him through there and we've just got on really well and he wants to start a YouTube account and he also wants to uh, set up his Instagram and get like a bit bit like a bit, bit, bit bigger following so if you guys can check out his Instagram I'll link his Instagram in the description of this video and obviously on the Q&A but send over some questions that you guys may want to ask either me or him, check out his Instagram, look at his profile, if you've got any questions with, to do with either of us, put it in the comment section below or message me on Instagram directly. And also talking about my Instagram, I've made a decision that when, so my goal is to hit 10,000 followers on Instagram, I'm now sat at about near, near enough 6.5, so I'm three and a half K off, but what I'm gonna do is when I reach 10K, is I'm gonna do a massive giveaway of all mixture of stuff. So I'm gonna do like protein, monster, uh, clothes, every I'm going to do loads of different things for you guys to win. So if you can, if you are watching this video until this point, please make sure you, if you haven't followed me already, make sure you follow me on my Instagram and also get your friends and family and just share the profile around. And then the giveaway will be, yeah, when I hit 10k sub, uh, 10k. Uh, followers 10k subs would be nice as well if you guys can help me out with that as well so if you have got also got to this part of the video and you haven't pressed that subscribe button please just click off the video and just click on that subscribe button helps me massively and also of course like the video as well because it supports the channel and gets me on more trending but anyway that is the end of the video guys i'm sorry for the lack of uploads recently but i am going to try and get more videos out for you just gonna get some short videos out just because uh, i've been busy at work like sessions have been mad at the moment with uh summer coming around so Everyone wants to get in shape for summer, so that's good for business, but obviously not so good for the videos. But I am going to try this week to get a few videos out for you guys because I have missed doing it. But anyway, that's the end of the video, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, smash the like button. Of course, subscribe if you do. But as always, guys, stay focused, stay positive, keep other people positive, and I'll see you in the next one.